My name is Sudarshan. Welcome to my channel EasyML. Now let us explore the third topic or the last topic in data exploration which is normalization. Before delving into normalization, let us first take a look at a sample data set. Here we can see that there are three numeric variables as highlighted in red. Height which is measured in centimeters, weight which is measured in kilograms and age which is, which is measured in number of years. All these three variables have different scales of measurement. Now, is there a way to get these variables on the same scale so that it would be easier for us to compare these variables? Well, the answer to that question is yes. Now, in this slide, we have an example where we have height in centimeters, weight in kgs for a given set of observations. Let us now first derive the mean and standard deviation for these variables. The mean height is 167 centimeters and the standard deviation is 3 centimeters. The mean weight on the other hand is 81 kgs and the standard deviation is 7 kgs. The mean and the standard deviation of height and weight will help us calculate something called the Z score. The Z score will help adjust the scale in this data set. Now, what is the Z score? The Z score is just how many standard deviations a given data point is away from the mean. Hence, it helps adjust the scale or in other words, normalize the data set. So instead of looking at centimeters or kilograms, we are going to measure how many standard deviations a given observation is away from the mean. Now, what is the formula to calculate the Z score? The formula is, it is just that given a particular observation minus the mean value divided by the standard deviation. Now, let us calculate the Z score for Hansel, particularly Hansel's height and weight. Hansel's height happens to be 165 centimeters and Hansel's weight is 85 kilograms. Now, Hansel's Z score for height is his height, which is 165 minus the mean height which is 167 divided by the standard deviation which happens to be 3. This yields a Z score of minus 0 0.67. This implies that Hansel's height is minus 0 0.67 standard deviations away from the mean. Now, let us calculate Hansel's Z score for weight. Hansel's weight is 85 minus the mean weight which is 81 divided by the standard deviation which in this case is 7 kgs. This in turn yields a Z score of 0 0.57. Now this means that Hansel's weight is 0 0.57 standard deviations away from the mean. Now we have two distinct values that is measured on the same scale and the scale now is how many standard deviations a particular observation, which is Hansel in this case, is away from the mean. Hence, the Z score has helped adjust the scale in this data set. Now, what is the application of normalization to machine learning? Well, many machine learning models produce absurd results if the scale is not adjusted properly. For instance, cluster analysis. Hence, normalizing the data becomes an essential pre-processing technique. This brings us to the end of the last concept in data exploration. In the next video, I'll talk about the data set that I will be using throughout this course to walk you through various concepts of machine learning. Thank you. Stay tuned.